What's up, guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at a vast free antivirus 2024. Now, this is what it looks like here once you install it, and it is free. And we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and go through it and uh, look at all the uh, different features it has. I'm pretty impressed with this one for it being a free antivirus. Has a lot of stuff, guys. If you guys want to download it, uh, I will post a link on the description of the video below. Um, if you go to vast.com and you go to security, you can click on free antivirus. That's the way to get to it too. Once you install it, this is what it looks like here. Now, before we look at it, we're going to see what PC Magazine has to say about it. We always like to see uh, PC Magazine because they have really good reviews. And not only that, uh, they give us uh, uh, everything in a nutshell, pros and cons, and they also do tests. Um, they put it through a rigorous testing uh, procedure to see if it can actually block it, uh, viruses and stuff like that. We'll take a look. But uh, they gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Outstanding. Uh, the bottom line, a vast free antivirus combines an antivirus engine that scores high in testing, which we're going to take a look at the testing, with a surprisingly extensive collection of bonus features, which I told you guys I was impressed by that. We'll take a look at them. The pros is it's free. Got excellent scores with independent testing, very good scores in all our hands-on testing, powerful network security inspector, uh, many useful security-related bonus features. The cons, some bonus features require a separate purchase. We'll take a look at that. Uh, of course, it's free, so they're not going to give you everything. If you want to get more bonus features, you have to buy the paid version. Uh, boot time scan can be very slow, but at least it has it. All right, guys, at least it has it. Uh, the specs has got on-demand malware scan, on-access malware scan, website rating, malicious URL blocking, phishing protection. Phishing is when they pretend to be Facebook, when they pretend to be a certain website. They want you to log in, but it's not the real website. And then they catch your email and your password. That's phishing. Uh, Behavior-based detection, it has a vulnerability scan. Now, here it says it doesn't have a firewall, but... When I looked at it, firewall's right here. It's got a firewall. So why is it saying no firewall? So forget this X, it's actually a check mark here. It does have a firewall. All right, let's take a look at it here. Um, so not very user friendly, I, I'll tell you right away. I don't see a scan button right away. Um, to scan, you have to go to protection. And then virus scans right here. And then you can do a full virus scan, targeted, boot time scan. Uh, so scan for threats before Windows starts up. That's a very good tool, guys. Very good. I can't tell you how many viruses I've seen that take over your computer before, you, before it starts to boot up. So that's perfect. I like that. Custom scans as well. Um, let's, let's take a look th through the protection here. It's got core shields, which is going to protect you from files, behavior, web, and mail, which is good. And it does that automatically for you. Now, if you really want to get to the nitty gritty, click on the little sprocket here. And you can really get in here and really get into nitty gritty of, uh, of all those configurations. You can really mess with stuff here. Um, scan programs when executing, scan files when opening, all the, you can do a lot of stuff here, guys. You go to the next one here, Behavior Shield. You can uh, take a look there. So here under the settings, you can do a lot of stuff. Like I said, not very user friendly. This uh, is more for somebody that knows what they're doing. Um, but somebody that's new, it looks like it's a good antivirus because of the test scores we're going to see here in a bit. Privacy. It's got hack alerts, password protection. Now, it does not, you see the little lock? Here, that's upgrade. You have to buy it to get these where the lock is. So data shredder, sensitive data shield, webcam shield, and password protection, you have to buy it to get that. But at least you get hack alerts. Uh, you got to create a sign in to do that. Um, if you go under performance, there is a do not disturb mode and there is a software updater that you can use. Uh, if you want to use cleanup premium, um, that's another program they have cleanup premium and driver updater they do have that 
Uh, of course, they have Black Friday specials going on here because of uh, it's November. Well, it's actually December now, first, the making of this video. But because of, you know, November, it was Black Friday. So you could probably get some good deals here if you jump on it now at the time that I'm making this video. So that's about it, guys. Um, it's the free edition. So, you know, you get a lot of stuff here. The Ransomware Shield, I like it. The reason why I like the Ransomware Shield is because, check this out, guys. Uh, make sure you check this box. Protect all your folders. <laughs> but a lot of ransomware protection that I've seen on these antivirus, it just says it's on. But you have to literally tell it, here, protect these folders, right? And these folders are just the, the basics, right? You can... Uh, you can go to protect new folder and then you can add more there. That's the, that's how I recommend you guys do. If you guys have some very uh, important files and stuff that are not listed here, make sure you protect that. So that's good that it's got ransomware protection because that's very important nowadays. Ransomware is when it takes over your computer and it encrypts your documents. So basically you need a code to get your documents back. And the only way you get the code is if you pay them like $800. And most of the time when you pay them, you don't even get your stuff. I, I, I know people that have paid them four times in a row because what they want, need back is really sensitive, really important to them. And they never get it back. They just keep forking over money and they never get it back. You don't ever want to go through that, guys. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the test scores through uh, PC Magazine. Scroll down. Here we are. Lab results. And Avast is right here. Number of lab tests, four. So they really tested it really good, guys. 9.6 out of 10. 9.6. That is hella good, guys. AVG actually got 9.9. .9. Huh. We made a video on that. It set got 10. Wow. G data. We got to look at these other ones. But 9.6 is not bad. And they did four tests. 9.6. That's pretty good. For a free antivirus, guys. That's hella good. I think they might have another test. Here's another test here. Malware protection tests. Um, Fast is right here. This is the free edition. Score is 9.6. Detection rate, 96%. Malicious URL blocking, 94%. That is high up there, guys. Very high up there. So that's awesome. And it's a free antivirus. So I'm going to give Avast free antivirus. I'm going to get it a 4.5 out of 5, which is, I think, what PC Magazine gave it to. 4.5 out of 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I give it, 4.5 out of 5. The reason why I don't give it 5 out of 5 is because it's not very user-friendly. Somebody that's new to computers is going to be like, what in the world do I do here, right? you got to go to protection. Then you got to go to virus scans. So if only the virus scans button was here in the beginning i would give it a five out of five but if you guys are looking for a free antivirus guys this is it right here this is what i recommend because because of this ransom shield and i really like this ransom shield oh look it put more stuff in here now that's good um it's got the ransom shield ransomware shield it's got the firewall it literally has a firewall as well guys so those two things is what i usually look for uh, a VPN would be nice, too. I don't see a VPN. Uh, but, hey, what can you expect? It's It's got a network inspector, too, guys. Now, I don't click there because it'll show my address and my IP address. I don't want to show that to the world. But, yeah, 4.5 out of 5, guys. A vast free antivirus gets a really good rating out of me. Same rating PC Magazine gave it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.